the paradox was we started out adapting uh, an old French novel from 1931 called Le Feu Follet by uh, Pierre Trieu La Rochelle. But we actually, paradoxically enough, <laughs> ended up being even more personal. Maybe because we had that story and that novel as the basis, we allowed ourselves to really be inspired and draw from people we knew. You know, Eskil Fucht, my co-writer, and I, we, we talked about a lot of people we knew, people we'd fallen out of touch with. I, I, I went back and I, I uh, used some old skater friends who'd had uh, addiction issues as consultants on the film. They helped out and, and, and uh, brought some of their stories or their experiences. Um, yeah, no. So, so it's 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 interesting how starting out with a f you know really old French novel can actually lead you to do something very personal. <laughs> That's an interesting experience. I I discovered this story from years ago watching the Louis Malle film, which touched me tremendously. I think it's really a masterpiece. Um, but when I decided to do an adaptation of that same book, after that I didn't dare have a look at the Louis Malle film again. <laughs> At some point, my co-writer uh, had a look at that film just to make sure, for just sort of, you know, for the, to make sure that we hadn't taken anything from the film that wasn't already in the book, since we're, we're adapting the book, and I think we're in the clear there. But no, it's it's a wonderful film. Uh, it's interesting. Louis Mal was. Um, so I, I was a film buff, you know, I've always been, watched a lot of, particularly like a lot of European films from that era, you know, early 60s. Um, for some reason, I did not see Feu Follet until I was much older. I, I watched it at a stage in my life when I was myself, you know, early 30s and had just gotten out of a relationship and felt quite lost about a lot of things. And it really struck me as one of the most interesting portrayals of loneliness that I've ever seen in, in cinema. And I think that's something very inspiring, that you're actually, you can, you can make a journey with a character, be very close to that person, and, and, and sort of experience a sense of loneliness in a, in a cinema, with, but you have to share it with everyone else there in a way. So there's something about the medium of film that, that just gives, lean, let, lends itself, I think, to that theme in an interesting way. I think it's very important at this moment in time to remember that dramaturgy and how you structure a story is something very personal and it's not something you can really learn from a book or you can't abide to any of the rules that you hear. I think the way that you tell it, the way that you pace the story, the way that you choose to represent it through very particular scenes, that, that's a lot about your personality and you should allow it to be rather than to make something with the correct turning points and the expected structure. I, th I think really what movies need today are people that, that try to do something. It could be catchy even though it's original, you know. There's not a dichotomy where either you apply the re re right rules and it's exciting or it's, and you don't and it's boring and difficult, you know. I think there's stuff to be explored there to push films further. And I also think the most personal thing you do as a filmmaker is, is where you put your camera, how you perceive things, how you see them. And I would say mise-en-scene is, is, uh, is the most important aspect of it. It's, it's, the, it's the choosing of the characters the, and the casting and how you portray them, how you approach them visually. I, I hear a lot of young filmmakers talking about, you know, that I'm all about performance. The camera can just be random. And, and it, that worries me. There's a great possibility for thematic treatment and emotion in how you place a ca where you place a camera, what lens you use, your lighting. All that stuff that's more sensuous, you know, more tactile. I think that's, those are important things to sustain in, in filmmaking at the moment. Even though we're shooting digitally, there are wonderful possibilities of doing something beautiful still. It's, it's hard to give any advice and I'm still, I still feel I'm trying to figure this stuff out. You know, I, I would say that I watch a lot of movies and a lot of different types of movies, explore the possibilities of, of films. There's, there's this feeling at the moment that a lot of stuff is becoming, at least mainstream movies, are becoming quite homogenous. So, you know, even within genre movies, it's always exciting to see someone push it a bit and try something new. Um, you know, study movies, I would say, you know. When, when I'm asked to give advice to young filmmakers, it always feels weird to me. But, I mean, the, the basics, you know, try to stay healthy, get your sleep, stay focused, you know. 
don't expect your life to be full of free time because you're going to be working a lot. All that pragmatic, boring stuff you could talk about. But uh, it's more interesting to talk about aesthetics, I guess. And, you know, I feel that even though I went to film school, the most important thing was just spending hours and hours at the Cinematheque in Oslo in Norway, often watching a couple of movies every night, you know, from all around the world. Um, that, 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 I think, really inspired me. My, my filmmaking comes from a passion for movies. And through that, I've uh, figured out that, you know, a lot of stuff I know about life I learned from the movies, to quote Woody Allen. And beyond that, you can also actually take stuff from your life and try to figure out, hopefully, an original way to portray it in movies. And, and, and based on that, try to, try to push it a bit and try to represent, you know, I sound, I sound like a hip hop when I say it. Try to represent something that you know intimately or well. And it'll, it'll work for other people, perhaps. I believe in particularity, you know. I, I, uh, to do something general is never very interesting. 